Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Raul from Firetext here, and uh, so I'm going to take you through our software, Firetext. Now, Firetext, it's, um, it's actually three applications and three applications that work very closely together, but each of the applications do very unique things. So uh, over here, we have the Firetext Skin Editor, and the Skin Editor is used to design all your cool graphics that you'll see on, that, or that your audience will see on your video screens. And you can see lots of examples all over our website on firetext.com. Now, the Firetext display is what holds your finished templates, and as well as displays your scrolling live text messages, your voting poll results, uh, videos, images, basically whatever you want to show on your video screens or on your giant screens, this is the software that will display it for you. And uh, primarily, this software uses uh, the Windows Extended Desktop or the multi-monitor support, and you would put this on your secondary monitor and um, and this would go on your primary monitor. Now, this being on your primary monitor, this is your Firetext Message Administrator. Now, this is a software that uh, the operator would use. Uh, DJ, let's say if you're running, um, let, let's say if you're running concerts or or in a nightclub or or anyone, you're basically the operator or administrator would run this software. And you can moderate incoming text messages. You can set up your voting campaigns, text to win, song request, birthday shout out, RSVP guest list. Basically, everything you want to do to manage incoming messages is done in this in the software. So um, let's go ahead and start things up. So I'm going to start with the fire text display output. And uh, we can see here it says standing by. Now we're going to start the second application, which is the Firetext Message Administrator. I'll let that load up. And after you've done uh, registering your software, you'll, you'll see your company name over here and, uh, and the license that you've purchased. So right now I just put your company name just for demo purposes. And um, so let's uh, take a look at some of these features. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see all of our features broken down into tabs. Now each one does very unique things and they have very unique algorithms that allow you to do some pretty cool stuff for your audience. So uh, basically the inbox is where all your incoming messages come in. So as you start building them up you can keep track of everything over here. And let's expand this out so we can kind of see the messages. And uh, this specific Firetech software was run at uh, the Edmonton Eskimos CFL Football League, which is a Canadian football league. And you can kind of see messages over here. And uh, we can, we can uh, you can use these controllers here to, to manage these messages. So let's, um, let's take a look over here at our templates. Now, we don't really have any templates right now. So we've started up the Firetech display channel started which means it's connected to the Firetech software and our Firetech software is open but we don't have any templates so so I'm gonna let's let's create my first Firetext template so I can start displaying some of these messages here onto this display screen and again as I said at the beginning this is the display screen that would go on your video screens so using Windows multi-monitor support I would push this all the way on the, on the right hand side and uh, it would uh, it would show on the other screens so let's uh, let's go ahead and start um, the Firetech skin editor and we'll create one of our cool templates now here is uh, basically you'll see all of our controls here what you can add add imaging add voting add text add movie uh, add, add rotator and video capture and we'll come back to those later but right now let's start with um, importing a background image so it just doesn't look so plain and I'm gonna go here now let's go down to downloads and uh, I have some pretty cool templates here from our customers and I, and I really like their graphics so let's just go with one of these over here now it's getting kinda cut off here so let's stretch it to the window. I always use stretch so that way it doesn't matter what the dimensions of your video screens are whether you're using high definition projection screens or a giant billboard or whether you're using tiny TV screens in a nightclub this stretch will allow it to fit that video screen. Now uh, so we got the background image here so let's add some text to this and I just did it by clicking text and we can drag that box right over to the 
space that this was designed and um, oh keep in mind this background graphic it was designed in Photoshop so you can use Corel draw Photoshop any graphic program but as long as you design it keeping in mind that you want to keep a little black box or or space with enough contrast where you can drop in a text box and have it display and or have it be seen so um, so I, I don't really like the look of that big white box there so let's come to the left over here and you can see all of our controls and I'm gonna make the background transparent see that's better so he's picked up the background color and and this is great if you have like gradients or any styles or any patterns in the background now let's pick the text message font color so the font color I wanna pick a let's go white for now and we'll just leave that uh, the red just to kind of so you guys can kind of see what's uh, what it looks like let's increase the font size I like it I like it nice and big so um, so that way it uh, it really jumps out at the audience when they see it so let's hit preview up here and you'll get an idea of what what the template looks like not bad not bad for uh, for 10 seconds worth of work but we can do some tuning up here and uh, let's make the font color match. I'm going to pick, um, let's go gold. There we go. That looks a little bit, uh, a little more stylish. Yeah, that's. I think that's fairly decent. Now, we can show the nickname before the message. You can see a nickname here in gray. And um, so when a person text message in for the first time, they're assigned a user number and it'll show this user number you can choose a user number color over here and I'm just gonna click on the background space over here and let's give this template an author which is uh, me which is Raul and a description let's go wild bills template now let's go file save as now the location you want to save it in is your C drive FireTech system folder templates folder and let's call this wild bills there we go now what happens is we're just gonna minimize this so we can come back to it later we go into the FireTech administrator now the FireTech administrator will pick up any template files that you have within the FireTech uh, templates folder so uh, let's hit set as active I can see it show up in our um, in our graphics over here so we can kinda see that there and it looks pretty good and uh, let's uh, send some message to the messages to the screen so I'm just gonna scroll in my inbox over here and here we go here's a nice little message and hit send to screen not too bad not too bad and of, of course you can make some tweaks to any any way that you like it let's go uh, send another message to the screen <laughs> that's a pretty funny message but uh, but you get the point and uh, let's let's tweak that graphics a bit because I don't, I don't I really want that yellow to match this kind of um, sandy color that they picked in their template so let's go back to the template editor and um, let's go through these colors again and let's pick that khaki color I think that's uh, it's a pretty good color and let's decrease the font size just a little bit I found it a little too big and hit save and when you hit save you just go back to the fire text template manager and hit set as active and I'll refresh the template so you can see how um, how it just uh, it updated on the fly now let's pick a whole bunch of messages so let's uh, here's a here's a nice little chunk so I'm gonna click one then hold on the shift key key or you can hold on the control key and click uh, various ones and you can hit send to screen now all those messages will go to the screen and it will scroll up that's looking pretty good now imagine that at a live event with 10,000 people just going nuts uh, it gets it turns into a lot of fun so uh, so um, so that's uh, the basics of creating a fire text template saving it into the the templates folder and loading it onto your screen now um, 
yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, I think, uh, to get started. So let's let's end this tutorial here, and uh, we'll split up some other features and uh, and some other in some other videos. So good luck and uh, have fun with the software. Take care.